Welcome back. It's now been a week since I started this project and uh, I did sandblasting. It took forever. I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to use uh, Rust-Oleum Rust Dissolver. Okay, so this is the gel version. You're supposed to dampen whatever you're working on and then you squirt it down with this stuff. Just for the heck of it the other day, I just squirted a little bit of this stuff on it. It did absolutely no good, but it seems to have sealed the rust in. So I'm going to get the water out and we're going to soak this a little bit in water, get it wet, and then hit it with this stuff and see if this breaks that rust up. So uh, on to the video. So the instructions say to get it wet and then squirt this stuff on it and start in a small area and work your way around. So I got it wet, squirted it down, and then we're going to wait about 30 minutes or so to see how this works. And, uh, and right away I'm already starting to see a reaction. It's a very minor reaction, but I think we're going to come out pretty good on this. We'll wait and see. So I'm not sure what's in this stuff. but. It has a smell that reminds me of sulfuric acid. Whether that's what's in it or not, I don't know. Um, that's what it smells like. So this has been um, just a little less than 10 minutes. Uh, it says use a, a brush to break it up. That's what I did. It, it looks to me like it's dissolving really well. I'm going to go the full 30 minutes before I do anything else here. We're just going to let it sit. So it's been about 35 minutes since we started this process. And uh, it's actually pulling some of that rust off of there. I'm going to take it and rinse it off in the, uh, in the sink and see what happens. Probably uh, scrub it as we go here. Okay, so the inside, some of that rust came off. A lot of it's still there. This stuff is really deeply pitted. It's been outside for years. It's it's cast iron. So all of that's just been sitting there rusting for years. So it actually broke a lot of it up. Unfortunately, where I'd already sandblasted it, it almost immediately rusted back up. So I'm gonna sandblast this again, at least on the outside. And uh, we'll give this a little bit of a Sandblast also, not a lot, and uh, still debating on whether I want to clean up these these casting marks or not. And we'll go from there. I'll get some primer on that right after I get this blasted, and we'll see what happens. Um, my uh, my blasting is quite noisy, so. I'm not going to run the video during that time and we'll show you on the other side what it looks like. This spot here looks like it's almost rusted through. I guess not. It just 
uh, again, it's just a poor casting. I could take and clean all that up and then we could put body putty on there and smooth it out. But this is a, uh, a lawn ornament now, so I don't know that I want to do all that much work to it. I think we just want to make it look really nice otherwise. This was hand, hand cleaned using a, hand cleaned, uh, I used a wire brush on a grinder and that's how I got that down. Still kind of uh, rusted on the inside, might do a little work on the inside of that and uh, finish it up. And this is the the cap, um, sandblasted it, then I came back with a wire wheel and polished it actually. It looks actually pretty good. I really like that color. That's not the color it's going to stay, but I, I, I really do like it. Okay, just spent uh, quite a bit of time taking this to the sandblaster. Came out pretty, pretty good on the outside. The inside, not so much. The biggest problem is, is I can't see what I'm doing inside this. The lighting's just wrong. And I've got LED lighting, but it's just not bright enough. I, I just need something brighter to overcome um, the, the shadows that are produced inside that by uh, sandblasting. So, I am going to probably just use a little bit of rust reformer on it and be done with it. I want to spray paint the outside with a uh, with a primer just to keep it from rusting back up again. And uh, we'll move on to the next piece from here. So these are rusted in here solid. These are two appear to be large head quarter 20 volts. They might have been 5 16 18. They have a square headed nut on the back. Those are rusted silent. I'm going to drill right there and just split that nut, that nut, split that bolt right there and see if we can get those apart without damaging this piece or this piece. So Piece is off. Let's try the other side.
that one's really solid in there. That's just stuck. Good one screw out. They're kind of slotted so that if there was any uh, adjustment necessary, it would just kind of fall into place. That's my belief. This one is just rusted in there really solid. Definitely going to take a hammer to it. All right. So there's our final two pieces. There's a number 12 cast into this. I'm guessing that means it's 12 inches. But I'm not positive. There are no identifiers on this anywhere. So, as these pieces have paint on them, I'll probably use a paint stripper on them before I tip, use a rust stripper or a sandblaster. So, next video.